Child of Light is a new turn-based RPG from Ubisoft, and if you're a regular watcher of my reviews, you'll know that I love this type of RPG genre. I love being able to plan and enjoy your fights instead of just spamming the attack button. My two favorite RPGs of all time are turn-based RPGs, and I'm not talking about any of the Final Fantasy games. I love Lunar 1 and 2. In fact, I've bought entire systems to play re-releases of the games. Hence the whole reason I own a PSP. So I was very excited to play this game, and overall, I liked it. Just like all my reviews, I'm going to avoid talking about or showing too much of the game, because especially with RPGs, I don't want to spoil anything. So if you're wondering why I don't show off the later parts of the game, that's why. Now the game starts out with a little girl very sick in the real world, and awakening in a dreamlike world, where she meets up with a firefly named Iniculus, and they set off to find her way to get home, and in the process save the world she has arrived in, and make a few friends along the way. Now the story itself was not too complex. The game is broken down into chapters, so it feels like the visuals, like you're a part of a children's storybook. The dialogue itself is more like a poem than actually conveying a conversation. It's mostly told in rhymes, and overall it's done alright. There were times when you could tell the writers of this game realized that rhyming everything was really hard, because some of the words really didn't make sense together, and they were really only there to rhyme two sentences together. Quite a few of the scenes were voice acted, but it was very odd when they weren't. Personally, I like it when games come fully voice acted. Reading text sometimes does not convey the sense of emotion in the sentences. Now the overworld is played like a platformer. You'll jump and fly around in a fairly open world. Yes, I said fly. That was one of the best things about this game. The complete freedom of flight fairly early in the game. I was very happy that they didn't handicap it with some flight gauge, and that you could fly around like Peter Pan as long as you wanted. The enemies you could fight were on the screen, so you could choose to avoid them or to surprise them. However, when you get to the fight, more enemies will be there as well. So what you see is not always what you get, but you'll always get one of what you see on the screen. Now the enemies have a weakness to an element, so you're going to have to figure it out by either trial and error, or by kind of looking at them to find their weaknesses. The main character herself is mostly a warrior type, but she does have some access to a few spells. But fighting with a weapon will be her normal attack. Later on you'll gain more friends, who will be good as a healer, magic user, or support of other kinds. One of the good things about this battle engine is that you can switch up characters mid-battle, and it doesn't even cost you a turn when you do it. While it is most of the time a basic turn-based RPG, or a TBRPG, there are quite a few bits of strategy that you don't normally see in a turn-based game. So we should probably classify this as a turn-based partially strategic RPG, or a TBPS RPG, or if you really want to go crazy, a multi-platform downloadable role-playing game with strategic elements in a dreamlike world, or an MDRPG WSEIDW, because the world needs more games with complicated acronyms. At the bottom of the screen you can see a bar that moves forward with all the characters pictures on them. When the characters picture hits the cast area you can do a turn. Now you might notice that the cast area is red. At the end of the red bar you'll see her turn will be actually done. If your character is hit while in the process of casting your turn you might get interrupted and you'll lose that turn. The same goes for the enemies as well. So you're going to want to remember that when you're choosing what you're going to do on a turn. Some of the moves can be done instantly or take a few seconds for it to cast. You're going to need to take time into account because you don't want to start something and get interrupted, then have it all for nothing. Now to make things even more interesting, your firefly friend can help you. It can use a glowing effect to slow down an enemy. This is incredibly useful. You can also use the firefly to heal your character instead. There are also some healing flowers which can refill your firefly's power bar and refill your hit points and magic points as well. One of the cooler things is that if you have a friend, they can actively help you by taking control of the Firefly in battle and on the main world, using the Wiimote. The strange part about this is that you don't use it like a pointing function like you use in the Mario Galaxy series. You actually have to use the D-pad to move it around, which I thought was weird and really inconvenient. Why not just use the pointing functions? You can also use the gamepad's touchscreen to move it around, but that's even more inconvenient trying to do that while you're trying to beat enemies. Now there is a skill point system where you can decide how you want to power up your characters. There are three ways of starting out your map, and they each take you to different ways of powering up your character. So you can tailor your skill sets up to the playing style you like. Plus you can equip and craft new gems, which can be used to do status effects on weapons, shields, and yourself. Plus there were other hidden things you could find, like confessions, which you could read. Or there were even hidden areas to find. There was a lot of replayability in this game. Child of Light was an interesting RPG. It had nice graphics and a really good battle system. I liked the sense of freedom it gave you and all the hidden areas you could find if you really go exploring. 
Now you can finish this game in about 15 to 17 hours. And for $15, that's a really good price. There is plenty for me to recommend in this game, so I definitely think you should buy it now.